All right. You ready? No. Welcome to the Buckhorn Podcast. I am Martel, and with me always is Randy. Smell the flowers? <laughs> cool to see. <sighs> and ban the menthols. Completely talked over your sound with your sound effect of my cool to soup. Oh. Sorry. Jesus. Such a Neanderthal. Amateur hour. Anyway, what's going on? Um, work is crazy. Yeah. The weather's nice. For today. Today. It's, it's not it's been raining not, all day. It's not going to be tomorrow. Um, That's for damn sure. Uh, tomorrow's Mother's Day. So we're going out. When I leave here, we're going to go out to my grandma's. Okay. Grandma and grandpa's. And then tomorrow, um, I'm going to see the moms. Cool. But, yeah, work's just been nuts with this whole promotion thing going on i gotta get back out back gown back gown checked yeah fingerprinted investigated by the fbi fingered anal probed uh all that fun stuff the military likes to do to you nice but um man what else has happened i've, I've been so busy with work that like huck got his first hit yeah yeah last last week hooray huck. um he got his first hit and it was really funny because I think he was more dodging the pitch, but he swung the bat and it made contact and went like three feet. <laughs> so everybody's just like, "Hey, run!" Like all the parents are yelling. He takes off with the bat. Of course. Well, yeah, you know, that's how that works. Everybody's like, "Drop the bat!" I'm like, "Swing it at the first baseman. <laughs> You'll get an extra base." <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's been things have been good. Time's flying by fast. Good. Well, I mean, so, yeah, you've just been so busy. I'm about to go into the other room and have a scolding with the youngest daughter. Oh, yeah? Which, twice. Just now, she's yelled, Dang it! Oh, I didn't even hear her. Well, she's been warned several times about that. Do it. We'll capture it on audio. We'll call that evidence later in a court case. <laughs> we'll see. If, we'll if send it to does, her if she, therapist. <laughs> if she does it again, I'll go storming in there. Um, yeah, nothing really going on here. The pool's coming on Tuesday. Nice. When this releases, the day this releases. Nice. Yeah. The pool's coming today. So I am over the pool at this point. I don't even want it. I'd rather just, <laughs> I just want to take that money and go buy a house downtown. I'm over it. Okay. It, it's the nickel and diming bullshit from all the other stuff that happens. Well, yeah. So like the pool, fine, whatever. The cost is the cost. I'm not, that's not the issue. But now getting a pool permit. I have to get a fucking pool permit. And in the permit, it says that basically the pool has to be fenced in. That's fine. I had planned on getting a fence, just not the day of, essentially, the pool. So, but it says before the water can be put in the pool, there must be a fence around the pool. Well, sorry, fuck off. There isn't going to be a fence around the pool the day the pool is done. There'll be water in the pool. And there won't be a fence. I'm still shopping fence companies. You're going to have wild animals in your pool. God, I hope so. You're going to go out there and it's going to be like a bear, coyote, a deer. Cockatoo. Peacocks. Cassowary. Cassowaries. Cassowaries, whatever they're called. I'm just just like, this is stupid. Murder chickens. And we want to get a pool house, which I went out and talked to Sean. Found the building that I think we're going to do. So we're going to go with a container for our building. Cool. Um, he gonna build it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But there isn't much building to it though, which is well, yeah, kind of nice. Mean, like even kind of basic. Well, this, I mean, it this gets down to even more basic than basic. So you're just putting a trailer in your backyard for the most part. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mobile home. Just getting a mobile home. No, the the container How much is rent. I may move in. <laughs> well, we'll see. It, it's going to be at least the cost of the pool. Um, <laughs> a month. A month. <laughs> it is. So your standard container is. 20 foot. Okay. Okay. So you get a, like a 20 foot container that's I feel like nine something high. You get like an eight foot ceiling in it. So yeah. it's, it's with a high cube. Um, the one we're looking at is 
a little more than 10 foot, but not quite 20 foot. But the whole side opens up. Like, just by de facto. Oh, yeah, you're talking like the... So it's like a lift. No. It is four doors hinged to oh, two okay. doors. So you've got... You've got a right down the middle is a seam, and then doors open up a quarter of the way across the container. Okay, and then at the ends of the container there's hinges, and those open all the way up. So you so it get makes this, a really open shelter. It opens this whole building up. That's or, really cool. Which is really cool. And then it has two doors on the end. So you've got the side. The long side has four doors on it that essentially can open up in. One of three configurations. You can just open up one door and fold it back against the quarter. Like a normal door. Like a normal door. You can open up one whole side, or you can open up the whole thing. I guess there would really be four, because then you can open up one whole side, half of another side, or the whole thing. Yeah, lots of um, options. Lots of options for being able to it's open It's like a the transformer. Door, for the most part. And then you've got two doors down at the end, on the, on the end of it, that you can open up as well to get into. What I want to try to do is put one service door, like your standard 36-inch wide door, in one of the panels and then put th three windows in it, a window in each panel along that side. So you don't have to completely open a door up to to get into it. Open a whole side, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. open a whole side up to get into it. So you can just walk I mean, through that, it, a standard easy. door. Yeah. Well, the problem with the way it's configured is it's got four – on each door, it's got four latches, like the ones you lift up and turn and lock in place. Yeah. There's eight latches across this thing, and I don't know if that, that would end up being possible. Yeah. So something possible. I'll have to talk to Sean about eventually, but I think we're going to try to hold off until next year. For that part. For the building. for the, And then we're going to put a deck on the on the roof of it as well. Where yeah. He's going he's gonna to set it up deck. so that all I have to do is... He'll put the the panels and everything up on the weld a platform on it, and they'll get everything set up. And then when you I'm ready, I just put a ledger board up there all the way around it. Stack my decking on the ledger board, put you know, or my joist on the ledger board, and then build yeah. it out that way. That'll be cool. It'll be super cool. <laughs> That'll be really. It'll cool be setup. really fucking cool. I'm kind of excited. And then they just come and drop it in, and I just hook the. It'll be ready with electric, so yeah. they just drop it in, and I just. Literally just plug it into a wall. You gonna have AC in it or nope. fans? Fans, yeah. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll do ceiling fans. I don't see a need to do AC or heat. It really won't be used well, in you the don't, winter time. Yeah, I was gonna say you're not gonna use it much in the winter anyway. No, it's it's a. I mean, there's no drywall. Right. It'll be. But it's I'm gonna basically put up, somewhere to go in to change. We to, can. Well, I'm putting a TV out there. Like right. Liz and I, mean, I were talking. A, like I, I was put. I'm, I'm like, she's like, well, what kind of great TV place to watch Buckeye games? Which I know you love to do. Yeah, who gives a shit? I will come over and watch the games in your pool house. But I said something about putting like an 85 or 90 inch TV Holy out there. Crap. Right in the middle of the wall. That's a video wall. You can sit in the, you could you can watch float around the in the pool yeah. and watch TV And watch in the, the Buckeye game. It's too cold for that shit. I ain't doing that. Fuck off. I will. It's winter time. I will. But we would be able to record out there because the plan, my plan is to put up acoustic panels in there because it'll be all steel. Right. Got to have something that's going to absorb that. Deaden that a little. So I'm going to my put... ship lap. No. Live, laugh, love sign. No. Ship, Lots of throw lap. pillows. No. No. Really, really chipping. Wicker furniture. Chipping what's her face gains. No wicker furniture. I'm, put, I'm putting wicker furniture you, out there. You're doing that just to spite me. Yeah. Fine. I'll break it. No, I'm and getting, heavy, I'm like getting heavy duty plastic wicker furniture. Plicker. Yeah. Like it's like pleather. I'm getting the plastic it's like wicker. Pleather, and it's gonna leave it's gonna leave butt. all the prints on your ass. Mm. Yeah. Bumpy. It's gonna be awesome. Uh anyway, so you we're can, continuing you can read my butt like braille. <laughs> <laughs> Probably do that now anyway. <laughs> uh anyway, we're continuing our cocktail series. We are. Uh, I may have made these incorrectly. Nice. Uh, That's good to know. <laughs> right think, now, mine mine went from looking it. marbled to being yeah. Mine went. Mine, it looks mine like did grape as well. juice or something. I've got a I've got a layer of red and then a layer of pink. Um, but this is a New York sour. It's two ounces rye to one ounce lemon juice to th half to three quarter ounce simple syrup and half to three quarter ounce. It said dry red wine, but I had a bottle open, so I just used that. Um, I 
I may have made yours right. I may have made mine wrong. I don't know. But you took a sip earlier, and you were like, Ooh. It made my butthole pucker a little. Right. So Mine, I feel like it's a little heavy on the lemon juice. I may not have put on the simple syrup. I may not have went with two shots of rye. I don't remember. No, you did. For yours, I do it with mine. Yeah. I watched you, watch you pour two shots of rye in both. Okay. So we're good there, I think. But mine's a little tart. I can add more simple syrup. Mine's very tart. Yeah, so we it's, might, it's a sour. <laughs> I would I would cut the one ounce of lemon juice if you're going to make this to a half an ounce. This is definitely sour. Yeah, it's sour. I mean, it's it's bulldog sour. Now, now that I'm ready for it, it's super sour. Um, but ours did also sit for a few, and I think you're just supposed to drink it immediately. Yeah, well, so, but um, I like it. It's not bad. I just didn't expect it to be that sour. I was punch. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it that sour either. I mean, it is literally just lemon juice and whiskey. So that's about what it tastes like. Yeah, a little tiny tinge of fruitiness from the wine, but I like it. It's not bad. I could drink this. Well, we are, and it combines my two favorite things: whiskey and wine. Whiskey. I once started to write a song called "Whiskey and Wine." I'll leave it oh, at that. Yeah, that's good. Trademark. That's good. I like that. I like that. Um, I'm definitely going to give that at least a. A two and a half. Oh, solid two and a half. Yeah. I'd say try this. Simple yeah. ingredients. You get some rye whiskey, simple syrup, lemon juice, and wine. Yeah. Red wine. That's it. Anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. Now, um, I almost made a different sour, or it was a shot. And I can't remember exactly. It, I think it was like Jameson and something else. And I'm like, oh, I'm not buying a bottle of Jameson to do this shot. I've got one we need to do. And I think I mentioned it a week or two ago. A shot of Jameson and a shot of pickle juice. Oh, that's actually what it was. Was that it? It was called, so yeah. Good. Yeah, that's actually what it was. It was a. I've heard that called a shot with a pickleback. A shot with a no. Pickle it was chaser. Just, it was just called the pickleback, and I'm like, that, yeah. I just need to play nickelback while we're drinking a pickleback. Because <laughs> we all just want to be big rock stars, oh, drinking yeah. pickle juice shots in some shady bars. Ooh, hey, right, yeah. I'm telling you, man, that's I'm a magician. A, that's a great song right there. I've been a magician since I was six. I don't know about that, but anyway, yeah, nothing, nothing really new going on. I got a, I got as far as like the show. I got a I got a text from Mo, and it text said from Mo about the show about the show. He's like, I was listening to the show, and uh, when your mom started singing, it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it was kind of <laughs> eerie. I've talked, you know, we've talked about your mom on and off the year, off the air for a couple of years, All right? And hearing her sing, well, I just he he said when she started singing because I didn't make any mention that oh here right. here's my mom singing. It was just <laughs> I was like, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, I got a I got a message too from um Richard uh Schnipke. Yeah. Came out with us when we did the one episode of Flights of the Round Table. Yeah, I keep I keep messaging him about doing landscaping down here. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just make random comments about stuff. I'm like, why don't you bring some bring down some of that heavy equipment you yeah, have? Yeah, no doubt. And all the nice cars. Yeah, I saw you but, took uh, a Corvette to a shop the other day. Yeah. He just said, Blanton's and Coke. I am laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> That's all it says. A buddy of mine from the gym, uh, one of the coaches, he was, he's like, oh, I was just, you know, I was down in Kentucky. I picked up this, this, and this, you know, got this. I was, and, you know, I was really excited. I got this master's collection bottle for, uh, for 200 bucks, you know, that I bought off of this other site because this guy down there in the store wanted 400 for it. And I'm like, oh, that's, that was too much. He's like, yeah, he goes, but I just wanted it because I have all these bottles unopened and this would, you know, finish out this collection. And then he's like, what do you, you been getting into anything? I'm like, I mix Blanton's and Coke. He goes, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. And he walked away. <laughs> he just shook his head. <laughs> uh, so worth it. And honestly, it was really good. It was good. I mean, I'm, it's better than a Jack and Coke mm, by far. By far. Blows a Jack and Coke out of the water. It does. It blows a Jack and Coke all day. Blows it hard. So, uh, yeah, no, I, uh, I haven't been into much either. Yeah. It's been a really, it's just, like this said, might work, be the man. shortest show we ever do. Thanks for listening. You can find us on <laughs> Google, Twitter, Instagram. <laughs> I bought new underwear. Hey. And they got a little ball sack, ball sack for you. Oh, you got a little bit of a cup. It's the ones with the little it's, extra room. It's got the little, well, it's got the little, it's got this little like overlapping V shaped thing that you put your little ball sack in. You just tuck it in there all snug just, as a bug in a row. Just give it a little pull and you're like. 
<laughs> I'm good. It locks in place. I think I've seen those before. They sell them at Lions Den. No, looks these, like an elephant. The, these, these were at Kohl's. Oh, okay. No, those are party panties. <laughs> party panties, not to be confused with party pants. Not to be confused Completely with party different. pants. Completely That's right. Uh, getting some hate from uh, some of the bicycle bullshit that I've been posting in my Instagram <laughs> and Facebook stories. I saw some of them. Like, it was funny. Well, like the messages I've gotten have just been. What is why? Why do you hate these? Why? What's going on? I'm like, you live where I live, and you deal with these assholes. I passed one on the way out here. Every time I see one, now I think of you. Well, I think that's that's I'm just my like, goal. Oh, my goal Mark's is to be so mad. Every time you see a roadie, that's what apparently they're called. You see a roadie, that's not a roadie. A roadie, somebody that travels with a big band and helps them unload crap for free. Well, there's, there's hoping to get laid. There's guys that ride trail, and there's roadies. So and roadie, so we'll call them streeties. Call them douchebags. <laughs> Party pants people. P-P-P's. Yeah, so I, w- I was just getting some hate from. Like, we'll call them the three. We'll call them three P's. Party pants people. Ugh, I don't even want to pass the three P on the way that's, out here. That's too much. That's too much recognition for these. Um, but yeah, it was just like. Luckily, so I, so I, 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 I told a story. I told a story. That's what ended up happening. I told a story about the two of them. One about the guy where I was. They were riding, you know, three, four wide up up the hill. They were riding abreast. Yes, up the hill. And so once we crested over the hill, I started to pass them. And the one guy, you know, basically started yelling at me when I went far left. Like it was I went as far left of center yeah, as I possibly complete could. other lane Con- coming down because the the way that for those that don't know where I live. The road before my section of the road is super hilly. You go, yeah. You literally come up a it's hill. It's weird because your your road is dead flat, right? And then you cross a road, an intersection, and it's nothing but hills, right? So if you're coming south, you go up a hill, you crest over a hill at the uh, at a apple orchard. You come down into a valley, mm-hmm. back out of that valley, down over a hill again, up out of a tiny valley, and then down over a hill to a stop sign. So right. we crested that first hill at the apple orchard. That's when I went left to center to basically pass these guys, and that's when they started. Ye- that's when the one guy started yelling at me. So I slowed down, and you know, to his whatever five miles an hour that he can pedal, <laughs> and he's fucking he's, me. He's on a big wheel. He's, he's fucking me up and down. Fuck you. Fuck this. Blah 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 blah. And I'm just like. Well, just swerve right. That'll shut him I, up. Well, there there may have <laughs> it also be vehicle vehicle vehicular manslaughter. There may have not been a a slight swerve to the right to get them to move, um, but it, it just came down to like he was. Bye. If you weren't in that truck, blah blah blah. I'm like, all right. I'll it, get it's out of the it's truck. this story. <laughs> it's it's this, I've told it before. So I when I got to the stop sign, I just waited at the bottom of the hill for him. He pulls up over that hill. He looks down, stops, and I like, oh, fuck. I'm like, come on down. Let's have a talk. <laughs> Let's chat, Let's friend. Let's chat, buddy. And then I told the other one about the – I sent him another one where I went to pull into my driveway, and all these guys are sitting there in my driveway. And I went to pull in, and I'm like, hey, you guys mind? And they're like, no, we don't mind. <laughs> Run over. They're on your property. <laughs> I point. do. Move. <laughs> Castle law. So I went to, like, I had turn signal on everything. I'm sitting there, and I'm trying to pull into my own damn driveway, and they won't move. So I just started pulling into the driveway. And they started yelling at me, and they're like, oh, I'm like, get off my property. Come yeah. on. I mean, <laughs> I asked nicely here. first. Right. So, you know, and he was like, well, we're not all bad. I'm like, oh, no, I, I get that. It's, but the few ruin it for the many. You're not all bad, but you also didn't move when I asked you to let yeah. me in my own freaking Well, it, it wasn't that guy. I mean, oh, okay. uh, it, it wasn't it wasn't Kale. Kale, he's a friend of oh, mine. Oh, okay, he's, okay. He's a, okay, I got you. Yeah, Kale was asking why there's so much hate, and I'm just like, there's the, a the, lot the few of ruin there. it for yeah. the many. And and unfortunately, it's more than a few that ruin it for the many. It's a lot of them. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and I he was like, well, that you know, that's bullshit. I'm like, all right. I said, here's another. I said, I wasn't even driving. I was mowing my lawn. And a guy started yelling at me saying I was blowing grass on him as he was riding by. I said, there is a six-foot gap between where I was and There's where no he's. There's no way you were blowing grass on him. I wasn't because I don't even blow grass. I will say, your ditch looks like Amazon <laughs> forest right now. You don't well, even get close to the road. Well, even if I blew grass towards the road, which I don't, the grass gets blown into my ro- into my yard because I mow with the discharge. I mow across the right. – from south to north. 
across the front of the yard. That so my discharge is on the right hand side. So it's blowing east. My discharge so, is right down the middle. Right. Well, I was just he was blah, 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 blah. I'm, I'm just like fuck off. So then I just turned it around and did blow grass at him. <laughs> I mean, and it still didn't get the road. Blow good grass at I, him. Would have, I wish there would have been a rock there. Would have kind of smacked him in the arm or something. <laughs> you run over a boulder. Bunk. Jack up your blades. Just to hit him. No, I just I just need a pebble. Just, just a little pebble. You go over the driveway. At, <laughs> yeah, a pebble at five hundred miles an hour. Like that'll do it. <laughs> right in the arm. Thunk. Or the head. Right in his helmet. That's called murder. No, it wouldn't kill him. I mean, accidental. Uh, five hundred mile an hour pebble eh, probably kills somebody. Fine. It'll be fine. Right in his helmet. Yeah, right in the helmet. He'll have to get a new helmet. <laughs> Ping. It sucks. It'd be but, like when when uh when Uncle Rico threw a stake and knocked Napoleon <laughs> in the head. <laughs> Think down he goes. Oh, I gotta watch that again. Yeah. So I, it was there. There's been that shit going on, and now uh, kind of watching some of the shit that's going on with like the mask mandates and what Florida's doing, what Arizona is doing versus like Ohio, which. Hey, here in Ohio, if we can get the contagion rate down to 50 or below people a day, they'll lift the mask mandate. I'm not an anti-masker. I'm not an anti-vasker. Vaxer. Vas- vas- vasker, that's an anti-vasectomy. That, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, but I haven't really been wearing a mask when I go outside, ever, the whole time. Like, mm. you're telling me I can start doing this, and I've been kind of... Doing it already. I got in trouble with the lottery tickets when I went to shortstop there in Circleville. One oh, yeah. time I walked in. No mask. Totally forget my mask. Just forgot. It, so in, going in, that's the case. I go in for that. Yeah. And it's it's, it's owned by. It, it's not good. Oh, let her it's try not, it. I'm, it's it, super sour. It's really, it's sour. I'm not going to say it's Folks, not Folks, Liz good, just came in to try yeah. this New York sour. It, Liz Actually, she in. came in and held her hand out. <laughs> yeah, she just. It's, what do you think? It's sour? Yeah. Yeah. It's not but bad. It's not, I need to reach. But I need I to try to remake it. I don't drink bourbon either, so. Well, this is rye whiskey. I know, but normally, yeah, I would have made a face. I did not make a face. You did That's not also make a true. face. So, and there is two ounces of. There's two rye ounces of there, rye. So. Well, the, it's probably more like three ounces of rye to. It's two and a half. Whatever. To but that's. We we got to figure it out. It? Yeah, I got pictures. I'll show you later. Here, let me show you now. <laughs> I'll show you later. Let me show you now. Yeah, here's my pictures yeah, for everybody on the show that's watching. Yeah, look at these pictures, everybody listening. That's watching. Nobody's watching. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb. Uh, and so that was like five seconds afterwards. We walked outside. It's all muddled at that point. Yeah. But yeah, it, it it was very pretty. Yeah, when he first made it, like mine marbled really well. And by the time he took the picture, we got up here, it just looks like that. Yeah. It, it looks, looks like, like juice. but Pink drink. It's not bad if you like a sour, kind of like you like the sour beers. Yeah. That's what this reminds me of, like some of them sour beers you like. Yeah, that's actually a really so, good. And I'm with you. It's not. It's you don't taste strong whiskey with it. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to figure this out. I would make do. This a little I would do half of the lemon juice, and I think it'd be fine. I do half the lemon juice and probably some more simple syrup. Just a touch. You don't want to make it too sweet. Do three quarter lemon juice to one ounce of. That'd probably be good. Simple syrup. Well, you did one ounce of lemon juice, right? I did one ounce of lemon juice to about half an ounce of simple syrup. Yeah, that'd be a good ratio, I think. Because that's what it was. That's what the the recipe was. Yeah. So it's not yeah, terrible. But, I mean, it's not bad. I'll have to make another one. Yeah. Try it. We'll perfect it. Experiment. Kind of like we did with the I'll get old fashioned. I'll get out my my measuring cups instead. I wonder how this would be with the uh, Virgil Cane Ginger. Uh, probably. Not good? No. I love the ginger. Not with the oh, wine. that's a good point. That's a good point. With everything else, without the wine, oh, I'm sure it'll be excellent. But not yeah, with, not with the wine. Fair I also enough. didn't. But again, I also didn't use a dry wine. I used a, more of a sweeter wine. Do you think it's sweeter, or do you think it's more dry? More dry. I'm an idiot. I was saying I'm going to take her word on the wine because yeah. she knows way more about wine than I'm we do. I'm just a dumb ape that I know walks the collar dragging his knuckles. <laughs> I can look and say that's a red wine. That's all. It, I know. Yeah, it was a red wine. But so, I don't. I don't follow the dry versus like. I don't know. It, it's good. Yeah, it's good. So yeah, I went with my lottery ticket winnings and I walked in, and it's owned by a nice, uh, really nice Indian couple. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and w- well, when I pulled into the lot, it, I like really nice Indian couples. I do too. 
they're much better than mean ones. It's a very tiny lot, so people are always jockeying for spaces or parking in the lots nearby and walking, you know. And the, the one side of their building, you can drive from the alley up to the front. Well, I did that. People always do that there. Well, I was on a work call, and I sat there for about a good 10 minutes. The, the older guy, he comes out, and he's, like, motioning for me to move the truck. So I just pulled forward a little bit, and he walks away. I'm like, I've done nothing here. I pulled forward, like, two feet. Hey, uh, good well, for then, you. Yeah, then I go. I think they were upset. Somebody probably said, hey, he's out, been out there talking on the phone. It's a tiny lie. I get it. So I was like, I told, but that shouldn't matter one way or another. You're not, you're not. I'm about to go in there and spend money. I've spent money there in the past. I'm not loitering. Well, that's what I'm saying. You're not loitering. To shop. You're there to shop. I'm going to take in my hundred dollar lottery ticket and buy more lottery tickets from you. And that's one of the things. So that's one of the things that kind of really chaps my ass. So when you're going to a store and people get irritated with you because you sit in the parking lot for, I don't know, let's just say upwards to five minutes. If you go over five minutes, then I start getting irritated. But if you're finishing up a phone call and you're going to go in and shop, it dep- I don't even care if you if if I want to sit there half hour. What's it matter? Well, find it, another spot. It well, it, dep- it depends on how big the lot is. If it's a it tiny does. lot it and does. you're sitting there just you know yeah, that, hoarding I mean, something that somebody else can use, that's a different story. It could be, yeah. If you're at Kroger and you're sitting there for thirty minutes with your car in reverse, I might try to shoot your tires out. If you sit with your car for that long anyway. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Good for you and your, your I mean, thigh muscles but if you, holding even on if, the brake. Even long. if you sit there with your foot on the brake for 20 minutes, that's an irritation. Yeah. Well, I was in park. I was full on in park. Right. And there which, was there was other spots open when I was there. but Which, which is completely reasonable. Anyway. Yeah, I go in. Fuck totally, you if you're one of those guys or people or, or gals that sit in a parking lot hoarding a spot for 20 minutes because you're lording something over somebody, somebody else. How dare you? And put your cart away. Yeah, well, that's a different. Yeah, we can go off on that. I walk across the whole parking lot to put my cart away. I like Al, I like what Aldi does. Yep. You have to rent that shit. You want that quarterback? Yeah, you better. You better Aldi take does that. everything right for the most. Oh, you want to bag your food? Bring your bags. Well, they do. They do a lot of things right. <laughs> I went in there to get chocolate covered espresso beans, which they typically always have, and they didn't have any. So they're hit or miss on certain things. On that, but I'm talking about they pay their like the the one up in the, the Silver way they, Drive they, in yeah. Columbus by the stadium. Their business ethic. Five years ago, when I was working in that area, they were offering fifteen bucks an hour starting off. Yeah, that's good. They make they don't have to pay somebody for the cart cleanup because of their rental. Right. They good. don't have to pay people to bag groceries. Yep. So they can the employees they do have they can pay well. Like, yeah, they I, only I got five smart. people in the store at a time. Right. Like right. employee wise. So anyway, so I, yeah, I go in there without my mask, and they're like, uh, "Sir, you forgot your mask." And I was like, "My bad." She was like, "Go get it." <laughs> like, she's like, "I was like, I, I will." I forgot. Like, like I'm not against it. Go outside and get your mask. <laughs> Even though I've been in there several times since you know the last so, year. Oh, you said they're Indian. Never mind. Yeah, I was and, gonna say if they're. I said, are they Korean? Because she would have brought out a shotgun. Brought out an AK. Yeah, rooftop Koreans come after me. Yeah, I mean, I love rooftop Koreans. Good. Mo, for them. Mo knows his people, so. I, <laughs> <laughs> Playfully racist. I love you, Mo. You're, the, you're my buddy. Um, I actually watched a documentary on the rooftop Koreans from the from the Rodney riots. King. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, it was it was a really cool oh, documentary. Yeah. They where went. This guy was basically like, I never owned a gun. I never wanted to shoot one. And then they showed him shooting then, a gun. He was like, They shot at me. I, I shot, shot back. back. Yep. And it was talking about how you, how they you know out of necessity they rose up and said we're not going to be a victim. And they I had to. That. Yeah. I mean, they legitimately had so, to. They, to and, see and, people and, from and riding the their buildings. Like, Buildings all around them are getting right, you know looted, burning all this, and they were just sitting up there with AKs and pistols, like come at us, <laughs> pew pew pew. And everybody's like, you know what? We are gonna leave the Koreans alone. Yeah, <laughs> they're they, good. They a little crazy. <laughs> they're good. They're I don't cr- think they're crazy. I think they're awesome. <laughs> they're a little cray cray. <laughs> they're crazy in the fun way. Yeah, I love. Yeah, so uh, that, that's what? the only time I've ever had anybody say anything about me not wearing a mask. Most of the times, I try to wear one. I'm not totally against it. I'm not. I hate. I I don't like it. Well, so it's, that, it's, I don't like things that are forced upon me, right? And it's but a I also mandate. understand it's not a law, right? Keep and that in mind. It's, I also understand people say, "Well, this is you know, this is for the betterment of our of everybody." It's but not though. The science isn't backing it. That's my it's problem. Not. Well, take me for instance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got COVID by doing nothing. I got COVID basically sitting in my house. Yeah, my daughter. Thanks for I bringing mean, me into that. Right. You're welcome. <laughs> I mean, my daughter, she goes to school. They have to wear a mask there every day. If she's the one who brought it home, 
she was Check wearing her, her out. there. Vote her off the island. Well, I got a funny, I got a, 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 a small funny story following this. Okay. With school, school age kids. And, uh, I ended up getting it. I didn't know I had it. But I know other people that have worn a mask that stand on their fucking soapbox yelling at people about, wear your mask, wear your mask. Don't go out in public without a mask. Get, get your shot, get your shot. Well, first off, I, like, again, I'm not an anti vaxxer, but I'm not getting a shot for something that, and I've read a couple different, not reports, but stories to try to, educate myself a little better where they're like, well, the COVID vaccine has been around. Well, COVID is basically the common cold. Corona is the common cold. This is a modified version of, of Corona. Um, but they're like, the, you know, this has been around for 20, 30 years. They've been working on a vaccine for COVID or Corona. And that's how they were easily, you know, able to whip up a, a shot, a vaccine for it so fast. The flu has been around for billions of years, and they still don't really have a working vaccine. They for always that. have a vaccine, but the problem is the flu goes, okay, we'll do something different. We'll do something different. <laughs> so, Which, oh, hey, what did what did Corona do? Oh, we got the Brazilian variant. We got the English variant. We got the Australian. Every continent has its own variant at this point. So yeah, anyway. It's all a mess. Um, wearing your mask or not wearing your mask, there's no, there's no real science behind that. Getting a shot or not getting a shot, there's no real science behind that because people who have gotten the shot have gotten COVID again or got it for the first time. Um, it feels just like I got COVID for the first time. Yeah. Sorry. So anyway, I wear, I wear my mask when I go into public stores. I, do, I will not wear a mask when I'm outside walking down the street. No. That's, I'm dumb. Not, that's dumb. That's stupid. There is actually studies showing that COVID can't, has not been – Cannot survive out in the open in the sun. Like, it just doesn't spread outside. Just like emo kids. Yeah. They don't come out during the the, day, the daylight. So, um, but a friend of mine, he thought that they, him and his wife had COVID, and he's got this huge camper. When he thought they had COVID because his son is in a, his senior year, and he's got scholarships coming for cross country and running track. He pulled his camper around in the parking in his uh, driveway and made his kid sleep out in the camper for two weeks. That's kind of fun, honestly. Like if I you're mean, a kid, I mean, if if that's what you're into, but like the parents took the whole house and they're like, "You go out there and we'll see you in two weeks." Hey, if I'm a senior in high school, baller. I mean, it's got everything you need for the most and you're, part. You don't have to deal with your parents. What you got to think about it. Well, if it's hold, a camper hold on, hold like on, you're talking on. about, it's got a You TV. said you don't have to deal with your parents. I like to be in around my parents. Yeah, but your mom always plays tricks on you. That, she, I'm not <laughs> getting away from that now. That's what I mean. <laughs> she did that when she was alive. She's doing that shit when she's dead. So I'm not getting away from that. That shit's still happening. We need a soundboard of just clips of your mom talking or singing that we can just hit. All I have is those just like <laughs> few little things that... Still, that'd be awesome. We talk but, about her and just her voice just sorts right. behind us. <laughs> but um scare people that are well, the volume on that when we played it for us, the volume on that was so fucking high. Yeah. Like everybody didn't else back. didn't didn't well, I did. And I had to make sure that it was lined up where it was supposed to be. Uh but I had turned the volume way down. Awesome. Way down. Make it so that super it, creepy. Well, no, just so it was on par with everything else we oh. were, like keeping everything level. Um, I also, because Mr. Uh, JJ, Jason Gennetti. Oh, you said JJ, and I thought JJ. No, no, not not fat JJ Bradley of multiple <laughs> multiple nationalities. <laughs> fat JJ Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mr. Oh, he is Mr. Gennetti. Okay. Um, he is one of our. Proactive listeners, him and Mr. Mo. He he is one of our pro state listeners. One of the best jobs ever. So it's a it's a it's a side job at this point right now. Um, and he is working for a race team. Okay. And he is one of the mechanics. So he's like a backup. He's a backup mechanic for a race team for Lamborghini and Audi. Nice. I think it's Audi. Uh, hold on. I have to tell you since I know you're not, man. But, oh yeah, they have two R8 GT4s. Nice. <gasps> I want. 
<laughs> a lot of once. people want. He just sent me the text like five minutes ago. That, hey, forgot to tell you because you like Audi. We got these R8s. And I'm like, yeah, I would. Uh, damn it. I saw an R8 in the wild and it was. It, I want to say I'm a huge Audi fan. I like them. It just wouldn't be my like, first choice if I hit the lottery. But the R8 is up there. I, I am considering. I love the so looks of it. I want a retro mod Porsche. Right, we've talked I, about I that. I want an older Porsche with a newer motor and suspension setup in it. It doesn't have to be all-wheel drive, but it can't be front-wheel drive. No. Um, you get a Porsche to make a front-wheel drive. <laughs> I will kick you square in the nuts I'll as hard as I can. kick me in the nuts as hard as I can. I would love to see that. Yeah. <laughs> you almost yeah. got there. Yeah, I'm almost there. My back hurts. <laughs> um, but I was looking. So we were up at Easton, and this guy in an R8. Crazy ass loud exhaust, like louder than what I would ever do. Yeah, L- loud ass fucking exhaust, but probably a quarter of an inch off the ground. Yeah, looked stellar as hell, and I'm just like, I want yeah, they're that. nice. I want that, but I want a retro mod like Porsche. I want like an old. I went to my parents' church to visit them years ago. I'm and talking there was a seven, guy with a years Ferrari. Ago. 428. No, and their church ran about eh, 150, 200 people in a real big church. And out front in the lot, somebody that was there that day drove an R8. Just sitting with all the other, you know, Camrys and yeah. Honda Odysseys and all this was just an R8 just parked in between two normal cars. And I was just like, normal dude. Do you guys see that car out there? And they're like, yeah, it's pretty cool. I was like, pretty cool. Pretty Do you cool. know what that is? That's like a hundred no. sixty thousand like, dollar car sitting there. That's an R8. That is a like that. That does not belong. That's a street here. race car. Yeah, it was so legit. Yeah. Straight up race car. I like street em. race. Car. I want a Lexus ISF. You know what? I did until Paris Hilton bought one. Don't care. I didn't know she bought now, one, but you know I don't what? care what she does. It's not that I don't care. It's the fact that she was able to get one in pink. Don't care. Still doesn't phase me. Really? Nope. No. I would well, what's a, his face? Was it, I would take who a was Porsche it? Carrera GT. Who was it? Was it Dead Mouse that had the Nyan Cat wrap on his oh, Lamborghini yes. and they got all mad? It was on his Ferrari. Ferrari. And Ferrari was I would, like, uh, you have to take that off or we're going to come get your car. And like, he's like, fuck <laughs> off. No, he took it oh, off. No, that's right. He did take it off. He took it off. That, which is ridiculous. Like a car I, manufacturer should not have any input I on agree what you 100%. do with a car after, after it leaves the lot. You know how I feel about property like, and tax and all that anyway. No. But I don't care that Paris Hilton got one. I didn't know she got one. I don't care about her. It, it's Whatever. not the fact that she got one. I will. I'll drive one in pink. I would get an. Oh no! I drive one in pink. I give me Avon pink all day. <laughs> Mary Kay pink or Mary Kay yeah. pink, whatever it is. Um, but oh, doesn't Avon have a pink Cadillac? I don't know. I think Mary Kay is the Cadillac. Ain't it? Is it Avon? I don't know. I thought Avon was like that turquoise color. Oh hell, I don't know. But I would. I would take one in in the that faded in the pink. pooper in the, in the pink anyway. Um, no, in the pink. Oh. One in the pink, two in the stink. Actually, put in Mary Kate. Two in the Mary poo, Kate. one in the goo. Two in the poo. Oh, one in the poo, two in the goo. It's a Mary Kate that does the pink okay. Cadillac. Well, I, would take, I would take that anyway, that color. But it was more she, I don't know, that Lexus let her jump the line on ordering her LFA. And then when she drove it around, because she doesn't know what she had, she drove around with a damn dog on her left arm. Yeah. Well, I'm just like, eh, come on, Lexus. That 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 people who are buying that should know what they're getting. Like that's a 600 horsepower, like titanium everything motor sports car. Like sounds like a sport bike type of thing. Which is where I would take the Porsche Carrera GT with its titanium crank and its V8 motor and all its goodness. When it's like, wow, wow. Sounds amazing. Oh, here it is. LFA, sorry. Paris Hilton plus Lexus LFA equals oh boy. This yeah. is on the Lexus forum. Yeah, it they, it was it was kind of a turn off. Like I like Lexus because they're you know, it, it's Toyota and I have zero issues with Toyota. Everything that Toyota produces, yeah. they can't they can't do wrong in my book at this point. Um which you could still go out and buy a ninety five Corolla Camry and drive it. Yeah, and they'll still reliably. Run. Yeah. <laughs> like they still are out there. I was just like, that's why, I mean, I'm still driving a 2007 FJ Cruiser with almost 275,000 miles on it, and I hardly take care of it. I got good news for you. What's that? As of last year, Paris Hilton put her car up for sale. And it probably sold for twice as much Half as she bought it Half a million dollars. Yep. More than she bought it for. And it's not pink, though. It's white. I'm not finding a pink one. Oh, I thought she got it in pink. 
Because no, you can get custom. Okay, then maybe. Paris Hilton dresses mistaken. to match her white Lexus LFA. I am mistaken then. I will take that back. I take that back. Man, that's such a good looking car. But it's so. She needs to get out of the way. So I that whole car. car was designed in a wind tunnel under a computer. It's beautiful. It's amazing. That's, that's, I would take that personally over a Ferrari or Lamborghini. Oh, yeah. Myself. Or Definitely. Or a Bugatti or an R8, anything. Yeah. That's well, just the, me, I was upset the other day. We went, Liz and I were out and I saw a car. And I'm like, oh, that looks like a fucking McLaren. Like, dude gets out. That's really nice. I go dude got out. A of course. dude. A dude. So rich. Not not him in his bourbon room. Not the dude. A dude. I guess, speaking of dude's bourbon room, I saw the video of it in his whitewashed fake brick walls. <laughs> and I went, "That's what all the hype is about." He put up some drywall on some shelves. <laughs> I want to talk to him in person, but I know I hope he'll listen to this. We'll never. We're never doing another <laughs> flight to the round table. His, I know. His iron bars that he put together has so many junctions on he didn't need. I'm looking like amateur. That's why he should have hired me. He's, it looks like it was built by the kind of guy that has to caulk his crown molding. <laughs> if by crown molding you mean vagina. <laughs> he has to caulk his vagina. <laughs> but anyway, I saw a dude getting out of this car, and it was this pristine white sports car. I'm like, fuck, I said I'm like, it looks like a McLaren. It was a Fiero. No, it was a goddamn Corvette. The C8? The new one, yeah, yes. C8. I'm like, God damn it! I fucking hate that car. I don't. I always, as it's coming down the road, I either mistake it every time for a Ferrari or a McLaren. That's not a bad thing, though, for for It American, is a bad not thing. Not for an American automaker. Oh, no, fuck them. I'll and be honest. I fucking hate no, Corvettes. Here's the thing. I, I'm not a Corvette fan, but the Corvette has always had the stigma of being this Supercar when it wasn't. It, it, it was still a isn't. muscle car. It still is. They finally made it mid engine. Uh, still a muscle they, car. They, they finally, but they're actually trying. Hear me out to make it what they that, what people say it is a pile of shit. Yes, it's a pile of shit. So there is nothing that will ever come out of Chevy that will ever f- ever come close to being a supercar. I'm not arguing that. With I know. You. I'm just. It irritates you me get a though, Ford. Like, that Ford's closest thing is what they're that that thing, that thing GT forty that thing yeah the thing that beat Ferrari yeah that is a supercar yeah yes that's the closest thing to a supercar that, that Ford is has. not closest that is a supercar it's the closest thing to that thing was iconic and it changed the game that makes it a supercar by definition that we had in our supercar episode yeah the GT forty is a supercar no I know that's, now everything else what, they put out that's what I'm saying that's the closest they thing they got to a supercar <laughs> <laughs> I won't give them like credit. the Shelby Mustang stuff those are muscle cars. Those are muscle cars. But that GT40 Corvette, is hits. Corvette is a muscle car. They cannot change it. You cannot take a pig and put lipstick on it and not call it a pig. That you fuck- can take a pig and put lipstick on it and smoke it for eight hours, though. Ooh, yeah, I know. You, you I'm so hungry. I haven't um, eaten yet today. I've had, I, had a, I had a hard-boiled egg and a thing of yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I've had. Dip today. the egg in the yogurt. No, I dipped mm. the egg in hot sauce. Ooh. Frank's. It's the only thing suitable for dipping eggs into. I've never done that. It's really good. I believe you. I'm going to try that. All right. We'll do them after this. If we oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't mean right now, but um, I will. But I just, I, I can't. Lay off me. I'm starving. Like, even Dodge. Like, Dodge doesn't have a supercar. The Viper was not a supercar. That was a, That's a muscle car. Yeah. I would agree they, with that. They don't have. American car companies cannot build a supercar. But they make some really cool muscle cars. They make some the really. The Viper is still they, an icon, iconic car. Absolutely agree. The Viper is love it. An amazing when it came out in ninety five, ninety four, I think something like that. The it, McDonald's fi- face game, <laughs> yeah, five hundred horsepower, five hundred pounds of torque. When everything else was putting out, maybe two hundred. Right, that thing was amazing. Uh, Roseanne Barr bought one. And Did had a whole sound really? system, but it, like when I was into doing like sound systems and getting car audio magazine, her car, her Viper, <laughs> flipping was through featured. Crutchfield. No, 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 not Crutchfield. <laughs> Fuck Crutchfield. Hey, I bought my Clarion head unit from Crutchfield. Oh. Back off. Woo. <laughs> it was like a six hundred dollars CD player at the time. But uh, with the exception of Ford and their GT forty, and the closest thing they got to a supercar, there is an, an American car company. 
mainstream American car company. I have to mainstream, remember, yeah, I'll give you that. That cannot that that can build a, a supercar or a hypercar. I they just say, can't do it. I want to say they can't, as in don't have the. They don't have the cojones. Ability. No, they don't have they the. Just don't. <laughs> they don't have the ability or the cojones to do it. Because they could easily. I mean, a lot of designs for various American vehicles have come from the same people who design Ferraris from overseas. McLarens, you know, whatever. Right. Right. But I mean, a lot the of the design stuff, is well, fine. Like you can, we, the, the, we stole, we stole Nazis and made that, had them start designing bombs for us. Right. So but, like, yeah, from overseas. I mean, the Corvette is, is well designed. But I'll give the them that. In America, it's their shitty ass take, engines. Take just for, uh, not all the engines are bad. There's some great engines coming out of America. The EcoBoost is okay from Ford. No, the, well, the EcoBoost anything... for what it is is great. The, the Chevy LS series, Great line. No, it's a great line. It's a great line. You but can it, easily, easily and cheaply double horsepower on those. And then it breaks. No, it, not the LSs. Oh, yes, it does. No. Yes. You're smoking crack. No. You're smoking How crack. How many times has Anthony FJ. had to put money into that fucking Pontiac? It's always for has. modifies. It's not, it, modifications. No, he's it's broke not for that repairs. thing a couple times. A couple times in 20 years, that's pretty good. That's too much. That's a pretty good that's, run. When He's owned that thing since he had a mullet. He still has a mullet. It's no, just on top it, of his head. <laughs> it's a reverse mullet. <laughs> it's it's party in the front and business in the back. Right. I mean, he still has a mullet. He gets his business in the back. He does get his business from the rear. No, the LS, especially the the more modern the LS, LS is, is okay. Great it's just not. It's not but, a supercar motor. But when when looking at America versus the rest of the the, the entire world, including America, so take everybody, all of us human beings alive. And then just America, Americans are still stuck in this kind of boomer mentality of yeah. muscle car. You they want boomer. the cammed. I did. We still today. You bring it up. We went to. We used to go to Cars and Coffee, right? We went there yeah. last. Well, two years ago. I haven't night. been there in a, a millennium. Well, it got shut down because a couple cars wiped out, and the owners of the lot were like, "Screw it, we're done." But they moved someplace. Well, there's two Cars and Coffee. So going on. I know there's, there's two That's, different versions, which is amazing in Columbus. You fucking morons. That, <laughs> There's a lot going on with that. But we were there two years ago, and a couple guys showed up with Lamborghinis. Yeah. I walked by. I looked at them. I went, hey, nice car, guys. Thanks. Moved on. But you get out there with a original 426 Hemi Cuda. You get out there with but an original car. Mustang, you know, with a big block. You get out there with a Camaro. car. Right. Anything with a big block. And they fire that up, and it's a cammed engine. It's just blah, 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 Yeah, blah. it's all on it. it, Dude, but it that makes me smile. It, so America's got same. this mentality of we like the American muscle more than we care about the supercar. So That's why would an American right. company do that? Oh, no, but overall, Over, yeah, maybe there are way more people that like American muscle than like supercars I, in America. I like a good-sounding car, whether it's cammed, I agree whether with it's you. push rod, whether it's, you know— the whole thing is controlled by a computer. Tesla, and or or Tesla. I, mean, I love a sounding Tesla. I, well, I mean, they don't make a sound. I, I'm, I'm I'm all for the bzzz. <laughs> because fuck the thing makes a thousand horsepower. <laughs> They're fast. Too, They're man. stupid fast. They make eight hundred the billion grade. pounds of torque. I mean, they have insanity. The truck's mode. an abomination, but the cars. Yeah, the Model I mean, S is just it's a good looking car, and it moves. Well, the the Roadster will be a better looking car when it, when they release yeah, it. Well, when when I don't know, but I, I just think but I think I agree with you that American companies and we're going to say the big three. I'm going to say the Ford, big three, Dodge, yeah. Chevy, because there are smaller companies. I would say in they could like, make a supercar, maybe not a hypercar. I don't know. I don't think they can. But why honestly, would they? It would, they would not make money on it. Well, they wouldn't. You're right. And most of the supercar companies don't make money on the cars they make. The 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 amount of money they make off of a supercar is not. They make money off the cocaine. They make money off the racing. In the cocaine. Not, well, yeah, because their cars are built to deliver cocaine. It's quickly. a lifestyle. It's quickly. <laughs> but they, it's like Jeeps. They have the Jeep Wave. You own a Ferrari. You have to sling cocaine. It's just a thing. Yeah, like McLaren. McLaren doesn't make money off their cars. They make money off their racing, and then they move that technology to their cars. I mean, they're probably making. I don't know, probably twenty grand, thirty grand off it's of a car. It's got to be more than that. I don't know. We should research. Bugatti doesn't make while. anything off their cars. 
We never will, but we should research this. We're not going to. I, I know. Bugatti, I already, I've already read it. Somebody articles. research this for us and email us. Yeah, let us know. at gmail.com. Bugatti doesn't make anything off their cars. Their cars are basically made at a loss for the most part, but they're putting all the brand new technology that they can actually muster from ra- from any racing that they do into the Veyron and the Chiron and whatever else Ron they have what going on. <laughs> Ron and, and their Bugatti the Ron, Ron Swanson and the Ron Burgundy. Ron <laughs> the Bugatti Ron Swanson. <laughs> and it's just like a 1982 Jeep Wagoneer looking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's... but. The supercar it costs five hundred thousand, and it's just like a there's, there's beat up a, old truck. The, I mean, Ford isn't. They're not. I don't think they can. Like, could they? Yes, no, they could. But I don't think they can. Well, and that's it. That's if you're if you're saying you don't think they can, as in they, you don't think they can because it would not work. I agree. I don't think they can because it wouldn't work. Not but, because not financially. I just don't think it wouldn't work. If they made, which they did, make a newer GT forty, and it sold. They did. If they did that again today and they did it right, it could work. But what is right, though? That's the thing. The like, way they did it the first two times. I mean... The first time they did it, I mean, they made GT, a freaking movie about it. Their first GT40 was like a bare bones, nothing... It, it was a supercar. It, was, it wasn't It was for going to the taking the kids to the soccer game or no, going to the store. No, it was to beat the Ferrari. It was to beat everything. Yeah. Their goal was... There's a know, documentary about it. There's actually a documentary which is, and a movie. <laughs> That's my favorite thing from all the, all my friends that are like diehard GM guys. I'm like, man, I can't wait till that whole uh, Chevy versus Ferrari movie comes out. Fucking GM. <laughs> I am over GM and their bullshit. Saturn shut down. Pontiac shut down. I'm Chevy's gotten bailouts. I'm surprised right. Buick even is, is even around at this a point. Buick is hanging on, man. The they're, only... they're targeting the younger crowd, which is hilarious to me. Because they're like, okay, our old customers are dying. Now we're going to say, oh, that's a Buick? Mm-hmm. But... My in laws did. Buick. They did a, a few years back, five, six, seven years ago. They took their Buick grandma car and went, hey, let's give this thing like 550 horsepower. Yeah. And I went and looked at what I'm like, this looks like. The only thing Buick's ever done great is the GN like, and the GNX. Cyclone? Uh, no. Is that Buick? No, no that's, that's Pon- GM. That was a GM, wasn't it? The, the, the cyclone, cyclone and the, the typhoon. typhoon. Those are GM vehicles. Yeah. Those are basically a S10 and a, an S10 and a Blazer. But really cool ones. All wheel drive. Really and cool one. 500 horsepower. With the GN engine in it. <laughs> yeah. I want one. I've always wanted one. I, do you remember the dude who, the, there was a guy that used to show up. He had, he had a Cyclone, I think. He had a Cyclone and it ran race. He ran race fuel in it. That was it. And he had grape, he always used grape flavoring in his, for his race fuel. Never heard of that. You never heard of this guy? No. He would just show, he'd like show up at random CR meets, and uh, I mean I remember a, cy- a cyclone, but I don't remember anything about grape flavoring. Oh, and it was just the the exhaust had this grape flavoring that he'd put in that he got at Jigs. It was more for diesel fuel oh, to okay. like mask the smell of diesel fuel, but he put it in his race fuel. Gotcha. And uh, but he was like, oh yeah, he goes, this thing runs like tens, and it's basically stock. I'm like Jesus, this is ridiculous. He's like, but I only put race fuel in it. He goes, I don't put anything else in it. Like it's expensive to drive. Yeah, even back then, no, race fuel now is seven dollars. Well, <laughs> now it's seven dollars a gallon. Back then, I know it was a little more expensive. Crazy. Because I looked at race fuel today. Because the gas station down the street has race fuel. Because you need that for the FJ. No, I just happened to be at that pump. <laughs> Things go faster. <laughs> <laughs> just happened to be at that pump, and I'm like, oh, look at that race fuel, seven forty five a gallon. You put it in the FJ and start popping wheelies. <laughs> I'm put it in my gas in, in my. Uh, Lawnmower. Zero turn. <laughs> <laughs> get out here and mow the lawn in about three minutes. It's so clean. Or did you get, a, you get a new Funko Pop? I did. Which one? Uh, the Deadpool, Deadpool and a cake. Deadpool coming out of the cake. Oh, okay. Top right hand side. I see it now. It's hard to read those tiny words from here. Yeah. I got Deadpool another one. and cake. Yep. Kinky. Got another one. I'm on Deadpool right now. I'm collecting. Obviously, you've got two, four, six, seven Deadpools. Yeah, I got. Yeah, seven, including the big one. The Deadpool on a horsey. (laughs) Deadpool (laughs) riding horsey. (laughs) Sheriff Deadpool riding a horsey. That's awesome. I want a Deadpool in a chicken suit, but I can't. I'm not spending $40 on it. 
That's awesome. I can't wait till we get a studio somewhere. <laughs> well, eventually it'll be in the basement. Liz and I have already decided. We've we've already agreed that you we decided have to, that six months ago. We decided we have to wait until the price of lumber comes down. <laughs> oh, dude! I don't have dude money. Good luck. I don't have. You might dude as well money. just get metal studs at this point. I would do metal studs. I'm only doing three walls. There you go. We'll get metal studs. I mean, it, at this point, I'm, I'm honest to God, I'm only doing three Why walls. Why don't you pay dude to come do it, and then it'll take six months, and it'll still just look like somebody and, threw and, crap together and caulked it. And he'll, he'll caulk my crown. <laughs> he'll caulk your crown. <laughs> caulk all the cracks. <laughs> I love you, dude. I wish it was Tyler that had built that room, though. It looks like Tyler built that room. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, we're at an hour. That's good. We're at, like, 55 minutes. That's fine. Let's go eat eggs. Let's go eat eggs. We're going to go eat eggs, and if you're listening, you can go suck an egg. Go suck an egg. All right. I'm Martel. He's Randy. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Insta, Google, Tweets, Instagram. We're out. Peace.